Hi, I'm Dr. Sheldon Horowitz here at the National Center for Learning Disabilities. Today what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about Autism Spectrum Disorder, or autism. You'll notice that I use the term Autism Spectrum Disorder because it is in fact a spectrum. It isn't a single disorder. Individuals fall on the spectrum in different ways, having different kinds of skills, different kinds of abilities, different kinds of characteristics but they all share certain things in common and we'll talk about those common features and characteristics in a moment. When we talk about autism, we, also, we often talk about pervasive developmental disorder, PDD, also referred to as PDD-NOS or not otherwise specified. We talk about Asperger's syndrome, sometimes referred to as high functioning autism, and we talk about childhood disintegrative disability or disorder. So what are some of the characteristic features, predominant features of autism? Well, individuals who fall within this autism spectrum disorder have difficulties in social interaction, they have difficulties in communication, and they have difficulties in the area of behavior. So let's look at each of those individually. In the social interaction area, individuals with autism have great difficulty maintaining and establishing eye contact. They have difficulty reading facial expressions and their facial expressions at times are also somewhat flat and um, not particularly expressive. They have difficulties with body posture, knowing how to move their body or, or moving their body in ways that endear them socially with their peers. They have difficulty with emotional signals, knowing when emotions are triggering certain kinds of responses or um, being aware of their own emotional status. They have difficulty in the area of reciprocity. That's the give and take that you experience when you're in social situations with others. Those who have autism also seem not to have a shared interest in or enjoyment with others. So their experience is a very personal, introspective, solo kind of enjoyment that they take in the kinds of ways that they behave socially. They are not at all tuned into or have difficulty tuning into the achievements of others. They have difficulty understanding other people's feelings. And especially when you think about young children, one of the hallmark early signs of autism is that they don't do that social, fun, interactive kind of stuff. So for example, playing peekaboo, you know, young children will often break, often break out into laughter because it's fun and there's a smile attached to it and they giggle. Young children with autism tend not to do that and they're often not comforted by touch, which can be very disconcerting, certainly to young families, to parents and to siblings. In the communication area, we talk about aut people with autism having difficulties both in verbal and nonverbal domains. Um, we very often see a, a delay or even a lack of talk. Young children with autism will sometimes begin to develop language and then it'll abruptly stop. In many cases, that language just never develops. They have difficulties in the communication domain with taking turns. So if they say something and when they say something, it's often not in a reciprocal kind of give and take way. They have difficulty remaining engaged in conversations. Very often what we hear and what we see in the communication domain is stereotyped kind of communication. So they'll often repeat a phrase or repeat a sound or um, repeat a word um, and they may also be echolalic. They may repeat something that someone else says. They may echo the actual words that someone else has said. Again, in the communication domain, individuals with autism have difficulty taking the listener perspective. They have difficulty understanding and responding to humor. Um, innuendo is very difficult for them. Um, and again, as mentioned before, in the social interaction area, they tend to be concrete and focus on their self needs as opposed to the needs of others around them. In terms of their behavior, very often individuals on the autism spectrum focus on parts or pieces of things and not the whole. They may fo focus on a button on a shirt or they may focus on the wheels of a truck. 
um, but not necessarily how that truck works or that a button is part of a piece of clothing that has a particular function. They often have preoccupations, so they may be preoccupied with toothbrushes or they may be preoccupied with um, certain kinds of toys or certain kinds of um, objects around the house. Um, they have a, a very high need for sameness. Routines are very frustrating for them and transitions tend to be very, very difficult. Classic kinds of autism often are evidenced in some rocking behavior. So there's a rocking back and forth of the whole body. Um, there may be some flapping behavior, which could be arms or legs or both. And what I call twiddling, which is taking something and shaking it in your hand or moving it back and forth, um, you know, banging it around, tapping with it. Very often individuals on the autism spectrum disorder spectrum um, have hypersensitivities to certain things. So for example, the texture of clothing or the texture of food, or they may actually show a lack of awareness of those kinds of things. Of great interest is that when you think about the autism spectrum disorder, those individuals could be of low IQ. They could have pretty significant cognitive and intellectual challenges, or they could be gifted. There are features of ADHD that we see in many individuals on the autism spectrum, and anxiety and depression are often complicating factors in this set of disorders. Um, we all know of movies like Rain Man, where we, talk, where we see someone who has extraordinarily um, highly developed and sophisticated abilities. Um, individuals with autism, some individuals with autism, present with savant-like skills. They're incredibly capable of remembering things, lists, or maps, or dates, or even um, have certain gifts in the uh, area of music. Um, they have some unusual sensory issues. So for example, individuals with um, autism may react differently to touch. They may find touch very aversive, or they may have difficulties managing touch and not realize that they may be touching someone too hard or they may tap someone when they really mean to touch them harder. Um, it appears that some individuals with, um, Asperger, with autism spectrum disorder um, may have difficulties with modulation of pain. Um, and again, they have difficulties often um, with certain textures. Also seen in that autism population are difficulties with sleep and activities for daily living are almost always interrupted. The ability to care for yourself, the ability to dress and eat and feed, um, and do certain kinds of activities for daily living, which may include, in some higher functioning individuals, um, the ability to uh, travel from one place to another, um, manage money, and do those kinds of activities for daily living.